the YouTube Island Homesteader here. Um, this is just a quick video response to MI Gardener, Luke. Luke, you posted a question or a comment on one of my videos and asked about uh, nutrients in the soil. And to tell you the truth, um, nutrients isn't something that I've been completely, well, I, I had, let I me mean, take that back. I've been worried about it, but it's not something that I've really concentrated on. Um, my biggest issue here has been water retention, moisture retention. So to that end, I've added products over the years, composted pine bark mulch, um, all kinds of different stuff that I've added. Uh, horse manure, a couple of years ago, I got a couple of loads of horse manure from a friend and mixed it in. And um, that's the kind of thing that I've been adding. Um, I also uh, do use miracle Grow. Um, I've used uh, the Alaska uh, fish stuff, the composted fish stuff. I've put that on. Um, what else? That's really about it. Um, what I'm doing this year is anything that is growing in the grow bags that you'll see this year, like the potatoes that I've already planted, was the grow bags were filled with this, this Miracle Grow potting mix. Um, and the nutrients on it are 0 0.21, 0 0.07, and 0 0.14. So that, that'll be the grow bags. Anything planted in grow bags this year will have that. Now in the, in the ground, in the raised boxes in the ground, I'm going to be adding some of these, this stuff in. This is just something I had at uh, Home Depot, I think. Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember where I got it. Um, and this is just a three cubic foot bag of what are called garden soil. And it mainly, according to the ingredients, is um, composted pine bark. There's some sphagnum peat moss, some limestone, some perlite, and it's also got some fertilizer in it um, for nutrients. So this will be mixed into the grow in the raised beds, and it's a 0 0.05, 0 0.04, 0 0.03. So that's. That's really nutrients. That's all I do. Um, you know, like I said, Miracle Grow, just a couple of times a year. I don't use a lot of it because uh, I don't want to um, grow too much green and not get any vegetables out of it. So that's really all I do. Um, I'm going to start one of these worm factories this year. Uh, I'll be starting that probably here in the next few weeks. And I'll be using that. My my goal for this is to just use the worm castings to brew compost tea, um, to spray on, and to drench the soil with. Um, I I know I've done a lot of reading, a lot of research. I understand to an extent the whole soil web and the um, microscopic, you know life in the soil and I know I'm sure that's something that's lacking here so that's something that I'm trying to to work in with the organic material adding in I've started the compost bin if you watch that video um, so building up organic material in this sand this is this is sand all I, I garden in sand here um, so I'm really concerned about adding organic material and then from there I'll start worrying about the soil web you know increasing the the um, microscopic life, the, the, the bacteria, the beneficial bacteria, and the other things that's needed in the soil. You know, I understand that. It's just a, it's a process. I mean, what you're looking at here, uh, this was 10 bags of each. I've already used some to, to um, fill the potato bags, and I've opened one of those to put on um, a garden box out there that I'll be making a separate video about uh, of snow peas. That's that's almost $250 you're looking at right there. Um, you know, it's expensive. Plus, it was um, it was an hour one way to get a little over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes to the lows, you know, 60 miles um, one way. So 120 mile round trip. And this was two different trips. I couldn't get all this in the back of the Suburban at one time. So this is two different trips. Um, so what are you looking at? Uh, 240 miles to, to get this at 15 miles to the 15 miles to a gallon in a Suburban. You know, um, fuel prices uh, today are $3.73 a gallon. Um, 
so you got to add that in but that's that's 250 dollars worth of products not including the 240 miles it took to get it here um so i do what i can um like i said to add the nutrients um there's i buy miracle grow in the big boxes and just spray it on um but that's it luke so uh i hope that helps you a little bit if you have any more questions just uh let me know and thanks for commenting. All right, talk to you later, guys. God bless.